The RC time constant is how long it takes to charge a capacitor. You need to remember one time constant is a 63% charge and five time constants is a full charge. It's calculated with resistance times capacitance, so let's build a basic LED circuit, putting in a resistor to limit the current for the LED. We know we want it to have around 15 milliamps and it's going to take in two volts. The power supply is from an Arduino supplying five volts. So when we switch this switch on, we should see the LED turn on. Now let's add in a capacitor to have this hold charge when it's not being supplied with power. If we treat the capacitor similar to a resistor and put it in series after the switch, and then add a second resistor, because now when the switch is closed, there will be no resistance to ground and we want some resistance to not break the LED, we'll notice that the LED turns on for a split second and then shuts off because capacitors are DC shorts. However, when we turn the switch off, the capacitor isn't discharging because it's in an open loop. When we close the loop, we'll notice it will discharge and turn the LED on. This is a common mistake um, people make when using capacitors and circuits. So let's rebuild the circuit, making sure that when the capacitor is included, it is in a closed loop system. Now the capacitor is charging up to three volts. It's not blocking the LED. And then when it turns off, it fades the LED out. But what would happen if you introduced a bigger capacitor? To charge this capacitor, I will put a resistor to five volts because this capacitor is so big, it could draw too much current that my Arduino can't handle. And now what we should notice is when we use this bigger capacitor, because it has a bigger capacitance, it'll have a bigger time constant. So it should be able to let this LED fade out at a much slower rate. It should be 10 times longer. But surprisingly, it looks to be even longer than 10 times. This video is not slowed down. With these RC time constant rules, you can make circuits to check button to bounces, act as timers, and much more interesting things.